Hi everyone, Ulysses here again for Ask Our Experts. We are excited to bring in Prominent Nandi yet again to answer another question on the topic of motor control. And this is a tough one. Before we begin though, if you haven't seen any of our previous episodes on this topic, hover over the info icon above to watch the entire series anytime. And be sure to be on the lookout for further questions on this topic coming soon. Okay Prominent, the number of motors used in cars are on the rise. What does a motor controller in electric vehicles do, and why do you need them? Thanks, Ulysses. Uh, this is uh, a question we get a lot. Uh, in a high level, you can say a motor controller in an electric vehicle controls the motor, but actually there is more to it. So if you look at uh, traditional uh, internal combustion engine uh, cars, the number of motors have been growing uh, as of now. There are roughly about 40 motors in a traditional uh, internal combustion engine car. But when you go to electric vehicles, there are even more like up to 100 motors in a car. So all these motors are performing different tasks all the way from like uh, moving the car forward to something controlling like your window lift motor or window lifting. So they are all different doing different tasks and they are all using different types of motors so it could be brush dc most of the cases they are bldc motors and or pmsm motors because they are higher energy efficiency and people are migrating from brush to these motors slowly but surely depending on the motor type and what it is doing the motor controller does a different type of a task so if it's a window lift motor if it is using like a brush dc then it's a age bridge motor driver with a simple microcontroller monitoring what it's doing and sending the PWM, PWM signal. If you're talking about something like a traction inverter motor, which is really in charge of driving the electric vehicle forward, at that point, you need to do a lot of torque control while maintaining the speed. So there's more advanced, uh, a more advanced uh, motor control algorithm like a field oriented control with encoder is needed or with sensor. Uh, the other example would be like a, a coolant pump or a blower uh, that is used in an EV. So coolant pump is in charge of delivering the coolant to cool the battery of the electric vehicle. Now you have to maintain uh, the flow rate of the coolant to make sure that it is cooling correctly, which means you have to maintain the RPM of the motor to maintain that flow rate irrespective of what kind of torque it is uh, going to face. So depending on variable torque, it still needs to maintain the same flow rate and same RPM. So under those circumstances, the motor controller is really maintaining the R, trying to maintain the RPM depending on the variable torque, the requirements that it is facing. So motor controller really does a lot of different things, uh, whether it's electric vehicles, regular uh, internal combustion engine, or any other application for say. So uh, it, will, it is all kind of dependent on the hardware configuration and motor type. Thank you, Prominent, for giving us that detailed overview of motor control and modern electric vehicles. To our viewers, for more info on this topic, make sure to check out our blog post on motor control trends in electric vehicles linked in the description below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to know we have more insights from our experts. We'll see you next time.